Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, welcome to another episode of Wolf Off-Road. So today we're going camping. Um, we're going to Turkey Run State Park. That's got a little site there. And maybe we'll do some hiking. Hopefully it won't be too cold. Uh, I did bring some with some regular cold weather gear. But I got everything packed up. All my equipment. All my camping stuff. Uh, so I'm going to load it up into the Jeep. Make a quick stop at the gas station. Get some ice for the cooler. Um, maybe get some extra firewood too. And then we will be on our way. So I'll kind of just take you along on my journey, show you how I camp. Um, it's not super primitive. It's really just basic camping. So let's get started. I gotta fit the cooler in here somewhere. All right. So that's everything. Um, at some point, I'll do an overview video of all my gear. But for now, you just gotta watch me packing it up. It all fits. So I just gotta grab my backpack and we'll be on the road. All right, now I finally have everything. So let's hit the road. In one mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto State Road 32 West. So, first impressions, um, not too bad of a little little spot I got here. Uh, I do wish it was a little further away from the main road, um, but I do have a lot of privacy around me, which is nice. There's no one next to me. Uh, there's another campsite, but there's no one in it. And then it's just trees all around me here. So, not too bad. Um, but yeah, I wish I was a little further away from the main road. Next time, we'll know. Uh, but also while I'm here, I'll just kind of scope out the area and kind of pick a few new spots I'd like to try out next time. Give you a quick look here. Mm -hmm. 
the only neighbors I have are right over there, which is nice. Pretty far away. And then just completely open over here, which is very nice as well. I've only ever set this tent up once before. I really should have practiced uh, in the backyard before I came because this is going to be all new again. It's going to feel new. So we'll see how well I do putting this up. It doesn't look too complicated, but you no know, tents. Not bad for my uh, second time setting up that tent. It's a nice little tent. It's just a little two person get up. Perfect for me. Fit my stuff in there perfectly fine. My backpack, clothes, sleeping bag, pillow. It does the job. All right, so camp is all set up. We uh, got my tent here. Um, all my uh, kind of my prep area over here. So I got like all my kind of tools and stuff. And tools, propane, gas, some lights. I take this out. There. And then we got just like cooler here. With all my food in it, some water, my chair, a whole bunch of wood, should be plenty. Yeah. All right, so now that everything is pretty much all set up, I'm gonna get a fire started. It's a bit chilly out right now. Um, not super cold, my fingers are just getting kinda, kinda chilly. So, I'm gonna get that fire started maybe start prepping dinner. I got most of the food prep work done before I came. So I just gotta kinda put it on a pan and cook it up. But uh, we're having, um, I'm gonna have jambalaya tonight. So that'll be yummy. I haven't had that in a while. Right now I'm just munching on some Doritos. My favorite flavor, the taco flavor. Super cool, um, they're yummy. They do taste like tacos too. So, super good. I just love how quiet it is. The occasional bird. It's nice. So 
ourselves a nice little fire starter. Just kind of get it going. But I'm a huge fan of the log cabin method. I feel like that's the most effective. The teepee really doesn't do much for me. So let's get it going. Just gotta make sure you can still have spots for the air to kind of pull in. We are gonna use some propane to get this thing started. Say what you want. rain the other day so a lot of this is wet which doesn't help but let it dry up and we'll catch at some point. Nice. You kind of see the sun peeking through a little bit over there. Not bad. really going now. I finally got it. It's really going on this side. Man. That's what's up. I'm really happy. This is so nice. <laughs> I love how quiet it is out here. It's just peaceful. Fire's nice. It's nice and warm. Kind of want to Pour myself a glass of bourbon. It's five o'clock somewhere, and I'm camping. And tomorrow, I think I'm gonna explore a little bit. See what's around here. Maybe drive around or something. I don't know. Yeah, let's go get a glass of bourbon. All right. So we have Buffalo Trace. It's a pretty good bourbon. Um, I read a lot of reviews on it. It's one of my favorites. It's also one of the oldest distilleries in the United States. I think it's over 200 years old or something like that. It's, it's pretty old. Tasting wise though, it's uh, it's got the scent of vanilla and molasses. A little bit of mint. Sometimes it's hard to pick up on those things, but that's what I'm trying to do, trying to learn to do is explore more bourbons and expand my palate, I guess. Uh, but I see I get the molasses, but I don't get a lot of vanilla or mint from this. That's the aroma. Taste-wise, it's got like a, obviously like a really oaky taste, as most bourbons are. 
but it's also got, I think, it's like a spice at the end. Yeah, like a really spicy taste. Yeah. It's pretty tasty stuff. So it's cool. It's got a lot of history to it. That's why I think why it's one of my favorites. Like history. Still burning. It's really starting to get cold. Um, and the sun's starting to set too. Which means I really gotta start getting dinner ready here. But I don't have to do much. I still got the pan out and saute some veggies, the rice cooking, cut up the sausage. Should be good. Should be good. There's something about camping, I guess, in, in the winter time that's so different from camping in the summer. Because in the summer, you know, all the leaves are out, everything's green. You know, you can't see out far because you know, there's just a lot of a lot of foliage and stuff. But right now, I mean, I can see the sunset through the trees, even though it is kind of cloudy. I think this is my fourth camping trip uh, this year, if I remember correctly. And this campsite wasn't too terribly expensive. I think it was like $70 for the two nights, which ain't bad. You know, the camera really doesn't do it justice, but it's, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got to like find beauty and everything, I suppose. start by just kind of getting some veggies in the pan. I don't know if I want all of them. Should be fine. Chopped up some celery. Onion. chicken broth in there. It's just some nice little Cajun seasoning. use the shovel here to just kind of scoop some hot ashes underneath this. Should have brought some coals. That would have helped too. There we go.
you. And for rice, we have, um, I haven't tried this before. It's called Seeds of Change. It looks exactly like Uncle Ben's packaging. Um, so I don't know how much different it is, but it looked pretty tasty. It's got quinoa and brown rice with garlic in there. So I thought that would pair well with kind of what we're making here. It's coming together. It's gonna be a nice little meal. Veggies are starting to look pretty good in there. So we're gonna cook this now, and once that's cooked a little bit, we're gonna add the rice. And I'll be ready to eat rice now. Oh yeah. Look at that. Looks good. Dinner is officially ready. This looks amazing. I'm very excited to eat this. Cooked perfectly. Big bowl. Look at that. That is a meal right there. Got my water. Spork. Ooh, that's hot. Man, look at that. Oh, that's incredible. It's the chicken broth that really helps. And the Cajun seasoning, man. That's tasty. It's a perfect meal for a uh, cold night like tonight. Really hits the spot. Well, dinner was absolutely amazing. Uh, that really hit the spot. I'm just gonna digest my food, with a little glass of bourbon. It's really cooled down a lot. It's pretty chilly out. Hoping I'm gonna be warm enough tonight. Might just sleep with my jacket. <laughs> this fire is nice though. There's not too many people around. The moon's out. Probably can't see it, it's right there though. All right, so I actually did decide to make um, a little apple crisp thing. So I'm gonna do that right now. I like to use honey crisp apples. They are my favorite. Don't move away. Come on. Back. I'm gonna start by. Oh, come on. There's one. Two. Pop these bad boys out. Pop the apple in. Nice. Ooh, kind of a lot. Not too much, just enough. I don't want to use all of it. I'm having oatmeal in the morning. So, I gotta save some of it. That should be good. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's hot. So can cook it straight up like this. Put it right there. I'm just gonna let it sit for a little while. The apples turned out great. They're so soft. They smell amazing. I'm gonna top this with some granola. Honey almond, so the pair well. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, this looks amazing. Nice warm fire. Yummy dessert. Nice little glass of bourbon. Nothing better than this. That is good. That is really good. It's the honey crisp apples. That's what does it. The moon is just absolutely wild tonight. That looks amazing. There's no clouds. Just a bunch of stars. But it is just absolutely gorgeous. Alright, it's time for bed, gotta get the sleeping bag out, pillow, blanket, get everything organized, it's gonna be a cold one. I use this big uh, vomit bag to kind of hold my sleeping stuff, this works so much better. I also got this new pillow the other day at Cabela's. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cool. It like folds up, so it's tiny. It's also pretty comfy too. Blanket, sleeping bag. I'm honestly gonna sleep in my clothes because it's so freaking cold. The stuff I brought to sleep in will not be warm enough. This thing's rated for like, I think it's like 20 degrees. I'm still gonna be cold. But at least I'll be alive. Alright, so there's a little more insulation. Get in there, buddy. There you go. So I didn't get around to reading tonight, but that's okay. I can read all day tomorrow. Um, I just really try to stay warm around the fire. Had another glass of bourbon. <sighs> Listen to some music. <laughs> Met some raccoons. <sighs> but now I'm tired. I want to get some sleep. I feel like we're gonna have a busy day tomorrow. Yeah, whatever we feel like doing. It's gonna be a good day. Today's already been a great day, so. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hopefully I stay warm. I'll see you all in the morning. Good night.